What is up, YouTube? Ball Python Love and Exotics here. I'm going to be hanging out another open chat night. Get my watch time back up. Just chilling. Hopefully everyone's having a good night. Hope you guys are all having a great weekend. And those who go back to work tomorrow, like myself, because I work today, though, for some extra hours in a way. Hopefully you guys have a great work week coming up. But uh, yeah, welcome everybody. Thank you for joining. I appreciate it. And those who are watching right now, you guys are amazing. Kick ass. Got two in the house. I appreciate it. If you guys can, smack that like button for me. Share this out. Be awesome. Uh, it's the weekend is over. I had to work today, but I only worked like two hours today. wasn't that bad. Three in the house. Appreciate it. Slowly coming in. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Who do I got watching me in the background? No one's coming in yet. Who's all up in here? I see three people watching. Don't be afraid to say hi. Got a killer topic, though. I'm not going to give it away. But I've got a killer topic coming up here on uh, the next Reptile Love Show. Tammy, welcome. Iron Dog, you are frozen on my screen. Am I? I'm moving right now. Am I frozen? Frozen for me too. Really? Be right back. Let me re let, let me uh refresh this then. Um Okay, hopefully I came in a little bit better. Got six in the house now. Really blurry? That's so weird. Am I blurry now? Am I frozen now? I'm rocking back at four. Anyone? Good to see you, Iron Dog. That is much better. I don't know what happened. I'm still on the same Wi-Fi. I don't know. That's weird. It is what it is, though, right? What's up, Joel? How you doing, man? Like I said, hopefully it's an open mic chat night. I'm about to drop the link here for the first time here in a minute, but uh, hopefully everyone's weekend was great. I uh, actually had to work today. I only worked two hours, though, so it wasn't that bad. Go back to work tomorrow, though. Fun, fun work, right? All right. Let's drop this link. I haven't had Iron Dog on the show for a good minute. Maybe Iron Dog would join for a few minutes. I don't know. We'll find out. Joe, you're more than welcome. Anybody in the chat? Seven in the house? If you guys haven't already, please smack that like button and share this shit out. I'd appreciate it. What's up, DWR? Who's ready to uh, go shopping on Cyber Monday? I did my Black Friday stuff, so I'm not probably going to get anything on Cyber Monday. I don't know. Cyber Monday is kind of cool, I guess. Put me, put my first uh, short out stay BPL right on. I'll definitely go check it out after this live stream. That is awesome. I can't wait to see it. Don't ruin it for me. If you guys saw my video that I dropped today at 8 o'clock, I don't know. I I got a, one comment out of it, and, and uh, it was funny. It was funny. 
I would, hey, I mean, some of my shorts suck really bad, so I have no plans for shopping. Right on. Some of my shorts though suck too, Joel. We got to get you up here one of these days, man. That'd be awesome. That'd be kick ass. All of you, anyone that wants to join, the link is in the chat. Bullshit about whatever. Still curious about this new species that Derek has said that is new. Still curious because uh, I'm trying to find stuff about it. Can't find anything. I might do that soon. Right on. Definitely uh, check out your shorts out right after this live stream. Definitely will. Don't give it away though. I want to know. I don't want, I mean, I want to know when I see it, even if you were like, it's not much. Sounds awesome though. I like watching the shorts. There's some funny ones on there. So yeah, got some couple guests coming up on the show. Got one on Tuesday after the... Trish and Justin show, and then I got another one on Saturday. We got the show with Derek on Thursday. Pushing out content, pushing out live streams, interviews, open mics. A lot to come, a lot to come. It's going to be great. Can't wait, though. It'll be fun. Head in the house. Hell yeah. Appreciate it. I try to tune into your show when I am able to. I appreciate that, Joel. Man, everyone in here, I appreciate all you guys coming in here. Question, though, is uh, Tamethyst blue or is she gray? Someone will eventually answer, but we'll fix that. Tammy needs blue. I'm not smurfed yet. I'll, I'll smurf you after this live stream. I can't. I, I don't have a laptop, so uh, I'll be able to go to the previous live and go through the chat, see you in there. And E-Reptile needs blue. Got it. E-Reptile and Tamethyst, or Tammy, however one you like. Uh, we'll definitely smurf both of you. <laughs> I'll get that done here. Um, after I watch it a little short, I'll uh, go to a previous live stream and make it blue. Both of them. How you doing, Iron Dog? Either one. Okay. You've been coming in here, so yeah, I'll have some you. I have some serious firepower coming home in a net in a in a month. Iron Dog, holy crap! I'm this less. Well, anyway, right on. What do you What are you getting, Joel? I'm a little curious now. Doing, bro. How are you doing? I'm doing good. We're two hours today. Other than that, I'm all right. Not, not bad. Firepower, though. I want to know what the firepower is. Curious. I'm going to take it's a ball python. Recessive. It's going to put my clown game on another level. Ooh, okay. JHI Lesser Clown. Nice. That is awesome. Hell yeah.
That is really awesome. Female. Okay. That is awesome, man. I'm, I, that's that's really cool. Um, got the one clown, Mel. Other than that, I don't have any more clowns in this collection at the moment. But that'll change. That'll definitely change. So yeah, the link is in the chat. If anyone decides to join, if not, it's cool too. I'll just stay up here rambling on about shit. I'll read comments. We'll talk about whatever you guys want to talk about in the chat too. The best thing about her is she's coming from Michigan. Just a two-hour drive. Are you driving over there? Or are they shipping it to you? I take that you're going to drive the two hours. That's not a bad drive at all. Who was the breeder? Curious on who the breeder was, if you could say it who. If not, it's cool too. Also, I'm uh, going to drive to get her. I'm getting her from Beast Morse. Right on. Hell yeah. I'm not planning on adding anything to my collection right now. I have no one in, I have no one in quarantine. I'm enjoying that. Yeah, I agree there. Quarantine sucks, it really does. Iron Dog, quick question. Um, <clears throat> I'm allowed to go back to the previous live stream, right? To make those two blue reptiles and tap of those reptiles. That's because I don't have the laptop anymore. Am I able to do it that way? I had Three come out. I just had three come out of quarantine. Right on. I have no new snakes at the moment, so yes. Sweet. Oh, we got a guess. Oh, we got the Big dog and sell. What's going on? Not much. So I can go back to a previous live stream. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know that because I don't have the laptop anymore. Yeah, but give it a little bit. I mean, sometimes it takes a little bit to load into YouTube. You know what I mean? Okay. I mean, you might be able to do it today or maybe in the morning, but just as long as you, you can do it, though. I was thinking about just going back to like the previous live stream and doing it. Oh, yeah, you could do that, too. Yeah. Okay. How's, uh, how's your throat? It's there. <laughs> I was supposed to get my scan done Wednesday, but they canceled because, you know, day before Thanksgiving, so they yeah. I don't know when I'm rescheduled for it, so. Is it looking better at all with the cancer or no? It was still the same last time, but. I did a, a 60 gram RSO treatment this time, so I want to see if it helps. So, $60,000 treatment? 60 grams of RSO. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Rick, Rick Simpson oil. So, I did 60 grams of that, and you do a little bit, and then you keep getting more and more until you go through 60 grams. So, we'll see if that helps. I mean, you can't hurt, right? Hopefully, it'll kick its ass and it'll all be said and done. Yeah, we'll see. Just curious. I mean, I'm not trying to say anything like stupid, but like, does the cigarettes hurt it more? No, uh, I smoke a lot of weed, though. So. That's good. That's good. 
I'm finally after I think I want to say tomorrow or Tuesday I get my uh, drug test done, so I'll be smoking here after that. Mm-hmm. It's been too long, two and a half months, almost three months. As long as they don't do randoms. So the only way they do a random is if you get hurt. Well, don't get hurt. Yeah, no, that's that's my main goal. <laughs> is not to mess myself up while working. <laughs> yeah, I'm making some uh, can of oil so I can put on food and make gummies and shit. So I just got to get a jar, a bigger jar to go ahead and finish it. So I took a little over an ounce of weed and I'm just throwing it into oil. You know, I mean, it's weed's so cheap in Oklahoma, dude. You know what I mean? Like, okay, so for uh, just a, a basic eighth around here at the dispensary, it's around me about 35 bucks. Yeah, I can get an ounce for 50 to $70. I can get a pound for $1,000 or less. Damn. So. All right. I know where I'm going. <laughs> Next vacation. It's only medical right now, but we vote on... I'll make it recreational in February. Okay. Yeah, it's right. Rec- we have both medical and rec- recreation, whatever. Yeah. Anyway, but, as long as you're over the age of 21. But I'll keep, I'll, I'll still buy medical to the medical card instead of recreational because it'll be half the tax. You know what I mean? Okay. Because it'll be like 7% tax instead of 15 or better. You know what I mean? Yeah. So they actually give you, and you know, I can grow my own too already. So, are you guys doing your show tomorrow? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Well, there's so many people going live on Mondays now. You know, I mean, it's just like four, five, six people going live. You know, it's like. Yeah, but you guys are the king of shows. Yeah, you guys but, have the most kick-ass show of everybody. Yeah, but I mean, everybody wants to support everybody, and it's it's kind of hard to, you know, people jumping around, you know. I mean, I don't care that they do that. I'm glad they do that, but I mean, that's just one more person that, you know what I mean? I mean, we'll see. But I, do it Wednesday, you know, I was talking to Justin, maybe picking up a different day during the week or weekend, you know what I mean? So. I never go Monday. Tuesday, I'll go after Justin. Unless I know Kurtwood's going, then I'll reschedule whoever I have. Wednesday, I don't go. Thursday, I go with Derek. Friday, I don't go because you guys go live. Saturday, I go live on Sunday. So Monday, Tuesday, Um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I try to avoid. Yeah, you ain't got to worry about Kurt. He's kind of on that late night shift. So he's any lives he does is like late morning, early afternoon. Because he's he's working any now at night, you know. So okay, but I Derek was telling me something about Kurt Wood said he was done. I don't know. He popped a live stream the other day, so I mean, it's just yeah. I, got I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to say you're done, and then. You know, I mean, but I understand, I understand you got to, you know, his job and everything right now, you know, I mean, it's just what it is. So what's up, cat eyes? What's up, cat she's eyes? not, she's not blue either. I'll make, so cat eyes, Tam, Tam I want to call her Cammy, and then, um, E-Repto. Yep. Okay. I'll make them blue after this live. And then I got to watch Joel's, uh. Short, he said he made for the first one. Damn. Who else is going live on Mondays? No, no one pops up besides you guys. Well, um, Inkelin's live on Mondays. Um, Jar Pythons and Celtic is live on Mondays. Um, some there's a couple other ones that are live too. So. Maybe do like Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Shit, dude, I'll, I'll 
move my shit around for you guys. You guys, once again, I don't, I mean, this might offend some people, but you guys are the king of fucking online streaming, like, when it comes to live streams. Like, there's no better show than the Iron Animal show. There really isn't. Three years now. Fucking A. Well, I would say longer than that. I thought it was. No, nope. three that. years we've been doing it. We started right before the shutdown, you know, because nobody, you know. So. So about this time, three years ago, actually. Because this will be our, actually, we, we've done three Thanksgivings, and this will be, yeah, this will be our third Christmas, so. Are you guys doing a Christmas, uh, like, I don't know about the last, last year's one, but the one before that, I know I gave away some shit, dude. If you guys are doing another one, I'll give some shit away. Yeah, that was a pretty good stream. We had, what, a oh, hundred people or so in there, shit, we gave prizes away for five hours four or five hours i think yeah that was that was an amazing epic time i don't know the way that i do shows compared to you guys like i just i look at you two for inspiration well you know and i'm like damn dude if only i could know a show like they do well, we, we encouraged our, everybody to go live and hit, you know, and now we created a monster, <laughs> but now it's good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to see everybody doing it though, you know, because I mean, I did, I just, they got to understand, you know, just when you hit that 1000 subscribers to 4,000 watch hours, you're not going to be rolling in money over fists. Like everybody thinks they're going to, you know, a lot of people think once they're monetized, you know, uh, your, your money comes from content videos, not live streams. I mean, yeah, you get some super chats here and there, but you want to make money. It's it's content, content, content. That's where yeah. your money... Because them videos always get views all the time. You know what I mean? So... Yeah. I mean, I haven't put a video out in a while, and I'm still getting thousands of views a month just from my videos. You know what I mean? So... Um, What's your biggest short again? Couple million, right? Uh, my biggest short's only like 120, 130,000. Still, that's fucking amazing. But my, <laughs> my bi biggest content video is right about 4 million. Yeah. I'm doing, uh, so I did content today. I have a short dropping uh, Tuesday, and then content comes out Thursday, every other day. Content short, content short. And then once I get up in subscribers, I'll probably cut it down to two contents and one short. Well, I've got four channels. <laughs> I got four YouTube <laughs> channels. You know, I mean, my second channel's like, I mean, I hit my 4,000 watch hours in like a month, dude. I mean, seriously, a month. I mean, I hit it fast. And then uh, I'm at 500 some subscribers. I really ain't put much out on there, so... Watch time's losing, but ain't no big deal because that's easy to get. And then I got two other channels that I haven't told nobody about. I'm just kind of experimenting with, you know what I mean? So to see how they do, you know. But I mean, the good thing about being monetized is I'm already monetized in the shorts monetization program too because I was already monetized as a content creator, you know what I mean? So Yeah. I had what 50 I think I want to say when I stopped doing my live streams and everything I had around like 5100 watch hours now I'm down to 710 kind of kinda yeah hurts. but if you if you if you did content videos it's nothing they get 20 30 40 thousand watch hours a month now figure that in your head you know what I mean I mean content videos once you get monetized or even closer you put them out dude that's where you get your watch time dude you know what i mean i mean honestly i mean you're only going to get 50 to 80 hours on a live stream you know what i mean yeah so you know at best you know so if you if you can put out content videos, even if they're two, three, four, five minute long videos, you know, and you put out consistently, you know, say two or three a week or whatever, or even one a week, you know, that's where you get your hours because, you know, that's when me and Justin started our second channel is to do, it was just all experiment. You know, everybody said, oh, 4,000 watch hours is hard. And we did it 
in, in under a month and we did it with, and that was a brand new channel. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I only probably had 16 videos to get that, you know, get that. My first video got 60,000 views on my first, on my second channel. It was, and, and it was weird because I didn't put no tags in it, you know, no fancy thumbnails. And that's what blew my mind because on the other channel, you know, it's really good thumbnails, really good hashtags, tags, you know, descriptions, titles. Didn't do that on the second channel and, and it grew. And the videos that didn't do good on my first channel blew up on my second channel. So it was really weird, you know. What's up, Fry? What's up, Fry Critters? Oh, yeah. Thank you for joining Y'all ain't following him. Go, go follow him, man. He's got some good content. He ain't blue either. I'll make him blue. So I got four people that I'll make blue. Yeah, I mean, I honestly like. So tomorrow I'm a guest. I mean, I, I've only been a guest a few times, and I'm on Inkwellen's channel. But I kind of felt bad because I know you guys do your guys' show, and no. Uh, there's enough pie for everybody in this, you know, there's dude, it's, it's the second biggest platform in the world, dude, you know, I mean, and it's owned by Google. So really it's Google's one. So it's, you know, it's the biggest platform in the world. You know, I mean, you got so many billions of people d using it daily. If, if, if 10 of us in the reptile community can't go live in one day, then there's a problem because, you know, there's a lot of people out there you can be reaching out to, you know, and everybody's got, I mean, we all got the similar people that follow us, but there is some channels that got some different people too, you know, but I mean, there's, there's plenty of pie. Yes, Joel, uh, Joel, tomorrow I'm on Inkline's In channel, John. That's his name. It's, uh, his real name is John, but his channel is Inkline. Dude, I, I gotta say it though, he can't, okay, it made me seem like a little sissy, dude. That hot shit burned my mouth, but he ate two, and like a champion, he rarely went, like, for most of them, he was like, ah, oh, it's nothing. I was like, damn, dude. <laughs> I've seen a few people, I mean, like I said, there's one guy, he he did a hundred of them, dude. Ate a hundred of them, no milk, no drink, no nothing, dude. A hundred of them. He videoed it, too, right there, videoed the whole thing live. It was crazy. That's that's yeah, insane. But there's people that can do that. There's people that can eat hot shit that don't bother them. I had an uncle, man. He'd eat habaneros, whatever. Nothing. He never got... Nothing that was hot to him, you know? Never. You got your retake back, right? Oh, no, I sold him. You sold him? Yep. The black one? Both of them. Damn. I sold them as a pair because that's how I bought them as a pair. They had to go together or I wouldn't sell. Just curious, who, who bought them? They're only like three hours away from me. Four hours. Okay. Um, Fungus Queen and her husband or boyfriend or whatever, he, they, they got them. Okay. Dude, he was, he was, I don't know which one he was, but... I just remember the video of you having them outside and the shimmer of the rainbow light, that, that shimmer. Coming oh, that, out. that was the female. She was a, a black child, golden child. So, um, and she was, a um, um, shit. Um, ghost, uh, orange ghost stripe and then she was from a poison ivy line which produces calicos every once in a while so she proves calico then they got a really good deal because calico cows go for ten twelve thousand dollars each so Bam. but you know i can't sell it as possibly because you can't unless i mean they got some kind of genetic test it's not something that is automatically pa passed down you know if you breed it you know it could look like it's mom. That could be it, but it doesn't mean it would be calico. You'd have to prove it out, and you you know if you make cows. But retic uh, genes are like that. A lot of people don't talk about it, and that's where uh, I think they're not being honest. You know, because like anneries, you know, and the super dwarf stuff. If if you 
you could get a annery, a het annery that looks like a vigil annery. You know what I mean? But you're not going to know until you yeah. breed it, and it might not produce anneries. So really, you can't honestly say it's annery unless you bred them two snakes. You know, the mom and dad multiple times, multi and seen. You know, have multiple clutches from that same pairing to actually know. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay. Which, you know, it's, it's like, you know, a lot of people, you know, same with size, you know, well, it's only going to get six foot unless you have paired them same snakes multiple times and raise their hatchlings. And I'm not saying raise them. I mean, you raise them where you power feed them. You know what I'm saying? Not so much where you just stuff them, but I mean, you feed them good. You'll know the true length of what that snake will get because, you know, some people might feed every couple of weeks or once a month or whatever, you know, but if you might sell what you think is going to be six, eight foot long to somebody and they, they're power feeding it every week, it could get bigger than that. You know I mean? You're talking about the world's biggest snake, you know, I mean, genetics, just because it's small in one locality doesn't mean it couldn't get bigger. You see what I'm saying? Sure. But I mean, so unless you, in my mind, unless you've paired that, them same two, you know, male and female multiple times have multiple clutches, you really won't know. Hey, you know, this is what I found out over three or four clutches and raise them that I've not had one be over eight foot long or whatever. You know what I mean? You know, on a super dwarf. So that's, you know, a lot of people don't, you know, a lot of that stuff don't get said, you know, and I think it's wrong if you're selling them and not telling people that. What's up, Patty? Yo, what's up, Reese's Python? He says, what's up as What's well? up, Reese's? Hello, welcome. And uh, there is a question for you from Joel. He wants to know, do you have any actual, uh, do you have any more reptiles right now or no? Nope, I got sold every one of them. What about that, uh, the, rat, the, the rat snake that would come in? You got rid of him too, or? Yeah, I turned them back loose in the wild. I had them for a while, and I, I just got them healthy again and fed, and then I let them back loose, you know. So he's he's gone. He was my four main, you know, viewed video. My biggest viewed video was some little wild rat snake crawling in, you know, and I, I fed him, and it got four million views, you know. <laughs> That's crazy, huh? You know, a little hobo snake here, you know, you're showing your retics, beautiful retics, you know, multiple genes and ball pythons and stuff. And, and then you show some little hobo rat snake that, <laughs> and it gets, you know, 4 million views. It's funny, you know? Yeah, that's crazy. I can't believe that was the video, honestly. Yeah, well, you know, I, it, it got a lot of controversy, you know, people were arguing in the comments and, you know, so that helps, I think with the analytics, because whether it's a thumb down or a thumb up, it's getting traction and it's putting it out there and YouTube suggests it more, you know what I mean? So. Damn. And that was, yeah, dude, that's crazy though. Like you said, of all the snakes, the ones you had multiple genes in and all that, it's like a random one that just came inside of your rat room. Just a regular hobo rat snake, you know? That is so, awesome though. I'm happy yeah. for you though. Got 4 million views. Is that, is it slowly still going up each day? Oh, it gets views every day, yeah. So I mean, um, it's it'll get views the rest of its life. It's it's on limited ads right now. They finally knocked it down to limited ads. When they did that, it knocked the views down. You know what I mean? I mean, before I mean, it was nothing to get. I don't know, twenty to sixty thousand views a month easily. You know, just on that one video. I mean, there was times it was getting over a hundred thousand views in in a in a day, you know. So I mean, it's crazy. Damn. But that just shows you any video can take off. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter. You could have a video that sits in your that sits in your library for a year, dude. And one day it just goes nuts. I mean, I've seen it. I've seen it done. You know, and I mean, go viral just out of nowhere. It's crazy, you know. So. My most viewed video only has like, not short, but content is, I want to say about 5,000, 6,000 views. And that was the one where with my bell and she ate the damn rat alive and I freaked out and called you right away. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
Yeah, that's funny. Good night, cat eyes. Later, cat eyes. Sub ball python yeah. love junior. And exotics, he changed his name again. That's crazy. He had ex exotics because I have it. Okay. Thank you, Pride. Man. Doing any pairings this year? Yes, I got the clown to the spot nose female. I have the lesser DHI pastel to the pastel female. And then I got the pastel, which I believe is not your normal ball python because how thick and long she is. I, um, I got right, Joe, we'll see you. I have her going to my cinnamon mill. And then and my normal is going to my cinnamon, cinnamon vanilla. So I got four going on. Drop the link. See if anybody else wants to hop on. I think Patty wants to get on there. <laughs> She's like, you know, you know, you're lying now. <laughs> Apparently, not to give it away, there's not very many people watching, but Solo's going to join next weekend. So we'll see. Awesome. That'd be cool. Same with, same with um, hmm. Missy. Heck yeah. Yeah. See. Here. I'm gonna keep definitely a female back from that spot nose clown female from uh, that pairing once I get the clutch. I want a spot did, nose clown. Did you send the link out to anybody on Instagram? No. David, I didn't say anything. Nobody heard me. My mic's all echoey. <laughs> Who are you sending it to? Justin? Nobody. No, I ain't sending nobody. I'm sending you a message. Oh, yeah. I didn't hear nothing. All right. Let me uh, close off my camera for a second. I asked him earlier. I was like, Benji, you want to join? Oh. I didn't have the link. He said that's why. I just sent it to Benji. Hopefully he'll be able to join. So what are you saying, Patty? I need to share it out to everybody on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube. Do you get as many people in here? Or am I are we just gonna keep it a secret? It's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you better not. I sent Benji the link, so hopefully he's able to join. I like Benji. He's a good guy, man. We might have had her a little fallout, but it is what it is, and it's good that we could just get the fuck over shit and move on. All promises, promises. Are. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, this is, this is the last one, Iron Dog. No more cigarettes after this. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Gonna be a complete vapor from here on out. Patty's trying to threaten me with a good time now. <laughs> so.
So Brad wants to know what the topic is tonight. Uh, anything and everything. It's an open chat. Brad, you the, the link's in the chat. I was more, you know, talking to Iron Dog about the cancer and all that than his videos. Are you still on TikTok, Iron Dog? I don't know. I I started. I did that for a little bit, and either got videos, you know. I either got take, you know, and putting time out for a few days. Videos taken down. And it's like, screw it. TikTok's bad. They're trying to ban it. You know, they're trying to ban it in the United States. All your information goes right to China. You know that, right? If you're no, on I TikTok, didn't know that. yeah. It's owned by another company, too. So, what's up, Brad? I thought you had a specific topic for tonight, David. No, not tonight. Oh, shoot. Besides those Hilo monsters, I guess now. Yeah, they're, I think they're down for the winter now. They're. I've turned their heat off and stuff, so just waiting for them to poop, and then I'll Make sure they don't get any daylight, and they'll be down for the winter. Right on, right on. I think I think it was. I think uh, he was talking about how him and uh, Dingo were were planning a date. They've been best buds now. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't that right, Ball Python? Yeah. <laughs> Who's? I got Dingo. a <laughs> I got I got something to say to him. It's not the fashion either, but dude, when you have hundreds of thousands of people tuning into your stuff, like, come on. Yeah, and you're using your kid for gator bait? No. <sighs> I mean... Who's I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure he was fine. You know, really, honestly, I'm sure he's yeah. fine. I've seen the video. I mean, he even pulled one out. It bit, it bit Dingo. It didn't even do nothing. But I don't, it's not good, I don't think, to show, because a lot of people don't understand. You know what I mean? They just see people who are already afraid of, you know, any kind of reptiles or crocs are going to watch that and really freak out and think, this guy just put his kid in complete danger. You know, in reality... He, it, you know, I'm sure he's just perfectly fine, you know, because I've seen it, but that's where the controversy will get pulled up and say, you know, man, this is why this is what people do with their reptiles and makes it, it can be bad on the hobby, you know what I'm saying? And I mean, over, I mean, yeah, we've all put videos out for views, but I mean, there's also got to be a point because, um, you know, I mean, Whatever he does, he does. But when you put kids involved, that's where it really can get bad on social media. You know what I mean? Honestly, you know. Yeah, whether whether he's... I mean, look at all the shit Steve Irwin caught from just holding his kid, you know, where their croc, crocs are there. Man, he went through yeah. a lot of shit. It was like... But it, he, he was in total control, though. You know what I mean? But, you know... I mean, his kids just like him now, but I mean, still, you know, I mean, people freak out, you know, I mean, and they go, oh my God, you know, so. I just think it makes us look bad, but yeah, I think it's really, at the same time, I guess that I could say that his kid has an uh, experience that no one else is really going to truly have like that to swim at that many, but I mean, like. It's not to knock on the guy once again. It's not to hurt him or put negativity towards him, but to post something like that where people are already banning reptiles, like maybe that's a video you should have kept for the family. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, there's, like I said, I mean, I'm sure his intentions were good because he's thinking, hey, look, you can swim with these. My kid can swim. They're not going to hurt you. I understand the intention, but the message that's going to get out to, people who already look down on the hobby are going to make it worse. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. That's it. You know, because you know, you can go to his comments and most of them are positive because he has a big following and most people like everything he does, but it's, uh, 
you know, I just, it just, when you put kids, man, it, it really shines a way different light on things, you know, like, yeah, like probably if Dingo would have got in there, nobody would have said nothing. You know what I mean? I'm so, oh, you know, just Dingo. But, you know, when you put kids involved, it, it changes the whole aspect, you know? Mm. And, you know, and, you know, even in the, you know, what's the first rule? Don't tell mom. What's the second rule? Go back to rule number one. Okay, well, basically, don't tell mom. You know, well, I mean, I know he's trying to be funny, but, you know, I mean. I get it. Like, I, I mean, I get it. Like, it's an experience, especially, like, I mean, I give him credit because he does have the experience with the reptiles and all that. But, like, at the same time, I'm like, dude, you could have kept that to yourself or at least showed it to people in private. Bit, not like to, to the public because I mean they're already they're going for all reptiles now it seems like you know what I'm saying like and it just hurts everybody right yeah I mean it's 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 way different nowadays you know you gotta watch I mean things are looked upon a lot different you know and the people that don't want us to have these animals have way, way more money than, than we have. You know what I mean? I mean, their, oh, their yeah. funds are un, unlimited, dude, unlimited. I mean, it ain't nothing for them to spend millions to fight it where we're trying to come up with a million or two. You know what I mean? I mean, they got unlimited money, you know? Yeah. So that's the hard part, you know? And in reality, them they don't even want you to have any animals anyway. You know what I mean? I mean, they don't want you to have dogs, cats, birds, fish, nothing, anything, uh, anything. not even farm animals. So, and, and PETA really is not that great. They they they're not they they're about killing animals too. You know so. Oh yeah. Because if you really want to say, hey, you shouldn't have these reptiles or this, you know, why are the first thing going to do is we're going to euthanize them when we take them away from you? You know. You know, we're not going to try to give them a home or find a home. We're just going to kill them, you know, and that's completely wrong, you know. That is. I mean, look at the Burmese python. The, the bad thing is where it, where it originally come from, they're, they're, ain't, they're hardly even there anymore, you know what I mean? Yeah. But they don't want them back either because they'll just kill them probably, you know, the trade market over there, you know what I'm saying? So it's. And then and they don't ever want to tell you the truth that they, they come from a hurricane, you know, because a, a lot of them are, they've actually proven by genetics come from that facility by the way their patterns and everything else is on them. And they've genetically yeah, was, tested. They all come from that yeah. same facility. That was Hurricane Andrew in 92, yep. wasn't it? Yeah. Yep. And PETA it stands for people eating tasty animals. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. And, you know, and, and what a lot of people don't want to tell you is, oh, they had Burmese, they got out. That facility had a lot of venomous snakes, too, that nobody wants to talk about. They got loose. Oh, they had that that stuff down there. I mean, a lot of venomous snakes, too. Yeah. So, I mean, who says that they ain't, some of them may be living out in Florida somewhere and people don't even fucking know it. You know, because some of them could come, some of them could thrive down in the Florida because they really, and it's not all Florida. It's only really the lower three counties that have these problems. You know what I mean? Yeah. It ain't like you're going to go up North Florida in, in Jacksonville and find a Burmese python. It's not like that. You know, and that's yeah. what they don't tell you either. That's what. That's why I get so mad. Is just tell the truth. People don't want to tell the truth. You know. Of course, that's media for you. You know. They want to make it look like, oh, we're having a problem. We need to ban all this. You know. Yeah. It doesn't matter what media. They're all going to pull the same shit. So. Yep. It's crazy though. I mean, just all these. They say they're animal activists. Or, and they're trying to save everything, but yet, like you said, Iron Dog, when they take them, they just euthanize them. So how is that saving the animal? I mean, okay, so what if, what if, Lord, it don't happen, but what if a tornado hit Bob Clark and Mike Wilbank's facility, you know? Nothing but ball pythons, you know, 
you know, Bob Clark, big fucking retics, berms, you know, rock pythons, you know, he's got boas, he's got, I mean, what if it just hit it and these snakes went everywhere, you know? I mean, I'm mean, think about it. Then is people, oh, lady, look, somebody let all their pets out. No, they don't understand. You know, it's luckily Oklahoma backs when, when, you know, they were going after that to try to the Lacey Act. Oklahoma was one of the first to say they voted against it, you know, in Congress. They said when we wrote the letters here, they said we 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 backed the reptile community 100%. And the reason I think that is Bob Clark, Mike Wilbanks, big shooters like that are in Oklahoma City. They donate a lot of money to them goddamn political parties and they're not going to make they're going to keep them customers happy, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And and you know, and plus we're a red state pretty I mean I mean we are. I mean it's all there's no Democrats here. So well the same with Wyoming, we're all red. But we got good gun laws and good reptile laws, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So we have a we have a red Republican and a blue uh house theater. So we're fifty. And I'm not I don't I don't care what party you're for, you know, I'm not saying that. I mean I'm just saying that. It does make a difference sometimes, you know, because because it didn't in Florida because Mark Rubio is a Republican. He's the one that wanted the goddamn the Lacey Act to pass. You know what I mean? But no. Florida is Florida, dude. I mean, I, I think if somebody could really sit down with Governor DeSantis or enough people send him letters because he's the only one that can change the Florida Wildlife Committee. You know what I mean? Because you don't vote them in. They're, they disappoint themselves. So if he could get it, we could get backed by him. You would, it would change the whole aspect of what's going on in Florida with the animals right now. Yeah. Yeah. And he may know about it. He might not, but I mean, I think it would take a, a ton of people writing letters to him and then, you know, giving him the statistics, how many people Florida have reptiles, you know, that live there, you know, is it one in four or one in eight, you know, it was, it was something like that. So just think, Hey, if you don't help us, look at all the votes you're going to lose. You know what I mean? That's powerful in itself, especially when you're talking one in four people in Florida have reptiles. That's a lot of people, dude. That's 25% of your fucking voters. You know? Oh, well, let's see. Well, one let's in four see. households, I should say. You know? Yeah, that's, that's crazy, though. What's up, Missy? Like, well, did you see where in New Zealand they're trying to have a machine? To take over all the cattle farms and sheep and stuff like that to suck up their farts. What? <laughs> I shit you not. Uh, Howdy, Shelby. I know they uh I know there's some big dairy farms here, you know, that take the manure and, and process it into methane and they run shit, you oh, know, yeah. Make, but, yeah. but that's a whole different thing, you know. I mean that's right. just right making something out of your byproduct that was just waste anyway and turning it into something else profitable, you know, so. I was well, told they're trying to tax it and the whole shot, so. Yeah. I was told by my sister, there's somewhere in the UK where they fed the cows nothing but marijuana and, like, they're starting to produce THC milk. I was like. I don't, bl- I don't believe that. <laughs> I don't yeah, believe that's that. What she, <laughs> that's what she told me. I didn't look into it, and I was like, that's yeah, it's crazy if it's real. What's up, DWR? You, so what are you saying? You'd, you'd get one of them cows and you'd be sucking on that tit every day, wouldn't you? Fuck yeah, I would be. <laughs> <laughs> gotta, Where are you, you going? Gotta I gotta, I gotta go little, see the cow again. <laughs> cow with them too. Little cacao with that uh, marijuana so you get some chocolate milk. <laughs> We gr- we used good, to though. raise beef cows and stuff, and but we I had a we knew people had dairy cows, and the funny thing was, you know, people would buy beef, and he said he had this one lady who'd always come over and says, "Is that beef from a dairy cow?" And he'd be like, "No," and it was. He goes, "Good, she go good," because their dairy cows always got milk in their beef, and she just didn't know, you know. And so <laughs> he would tell her, "No, it's not one of my dairy cows. It's one of these uh, other ones," and it was yeah. a dairy cow, and she never knew the damn difference. But she believed there was milk in the beef because it was a dairy cow, you know. What's up, Venom? Junior Venom, Venom, go back and What's up, uh, Venom? go back up and jump on. 
He left the link. No, I, in, I, just, I just dropped the link again. It's been a okay, there you go. Or if, Jump Rise, in, if you want to join, Solo, Mitzi, anyone in here, Shelby. Um, Everyone except Patty. Patty. Hmm. I have to go over to Instagram and look at Patty's beautiful face. She won't show it any on YouTube, so. <clears throat> I just said if anyone wants to join solo, I didn't say anything else. I just said if anyone wants to join, there's the link, and I mostly <laughs> dropped it because Venom, but I don't know if anyone's going to join. If the warden's not around, you will. <clears throat> Send her a world for something, Venom. Yeah, he might be on lockdown. Yeah, he's probably on lockdown. He said too much. Yeah, he is. He <laughs> is. This is too much estrogen. <laughs> oh, that's funny shit. That's funny shit. I figured he was talking about the chat. That's why he wanted to stay in the chat. <laughs> I thought he had a bunch of lot lizards at the house. <laughs> Yeah. Come on, Fry. How's, How's that ball python doing, Brad? Great. I'm feeding him extra large mice right now. He took his last one the other night. That'll probably be all he gets for a while. Hell yeah. He's getting big. Comes out usually every night, except. Well, he got fed the other night, so he's hiding right now. But usually he comes out every night and waits for me to take him out and handle him a little bit. He likes that, which kind of surprises me, but. He knows he's in a good place. That's why. Yeah, he's got it made. Nice, comfortable enclosure and that. Heat on one end and cool on the other, and he switches off. He's got a water bowl in there big enough for him to get in and soak if he wants. He's going to be good. He smells it. He smells them healers around you. He, he says, I got to be good. I don't want no part of them healers. <laughs> yeah. He did try to bite me once when I went in to get him all oh, a couple of weeks ago. But he just kind of nicked me and that was it. It didn't even bleed. He's like, I can't feed him. You're not going to feed him any rats? Or you're just mice? Oh, right now, well, Rodent Pro had a deal on extra large rats or extra large mice. So, but he eats everything. I've fed him uh, rat pops. I've fed him ASFs. I've fed him mice. He does. He's not fussy. But he's a male, so he can. It don't really matter, you know, if you yeah. eat mice or rats because you're not trying to get him huge like a female to breed. So, I mean. Oh. And, and honestly, they, they can grow just as fast. A lot of people don't realize oh, God, that. Yeah. But yeah, they do. They do. Just some snakes grow faster than others. You can have, I've had a snake that get over 1,500 grams in one year, dude. Not, and not, I mean, not power feeding her. And then I've seen oh, yeah. snakes that can't even get to that in three or four years. You know what I mean? So it's crazy, yeah. you know. Yeah. And Mitzi's got the brother to that one. So. Oh, nice, Venom. Hell yeah. You should, uh, nice. Venom, you should join the live stream. Tell us about it. Oh, heck yeah. He says he's going to the SEC championship game. Nice. The team that cost me a lot of money this year? I, I have the Sooners. The Sooners cost me a lot of money this year. I trusted them too many times. Oh, they sucked this year. Had a bad year. Can't they? You know, I don't know. Usually, I mean, it started off kind of all right, and then they just kind of went to a losing streak like hell. It's weird, you know. They played better last year than they did this year for sure. What's up, Bosa? 
What's up, Bosa? What's up, Baron? Cowboys are looking good in the second, in the late season, ain't they? Shit. And so I took money on them against Oklahoma, and then Oklahoma spanked their ass. I was like, God damn. <laughs> no, Dallas Cowboys, goofball. Oh, oh, my bad. No, yeah, Cowboys look good. But I got two bets right now with two coworkers. Got the number one defense in the NFL. My Niners took the shot out today. Yeah, the Sooners did beat the Cow- uh, the Cowboys too. That was funny, you know. It's Wyoming. You would have think Cow- that OSU would have beat OU, you know, the way oh, yeah. the season was going, but it was it was the other way around. That's the last time they'll ever play against each other too. Yeah, since Oklahoma's going to the SEC. Yep. I think it's a bad move for them and Texas to go right away. You guys, I'm just saying Oklahoma it's and two Texas. Two years. Two, two years, I think. They're struggling it's in not, the Big 12. Big, no, yeah, the Big 12. But yet you want to join the powerhouse. Texas used to be good, dude. I mean, they used to be smoking. So did Oklahoma at one time, you know. But, I mean, they got a new coach this year and a lot of things. I mean, they're a new team, you know, but. I mean, look how long it took, uh, you know, Venom's team to get back up in there and win, you know. I mean, you just can't count them out. I mean, they always come back around, you know. Oh, yeah. Not everybody can be like, you know, Bama. roll tide people, you know, but I mean. I was so happy they suffered two losses this year. Good football. I mean, it's bad, you know, it's good football programs. They got good football programs, so you know. I mean, I remember when Florida State, you couldn't, nobody could even touch them. You know what I mean? I mean, they won like what forty or fifty straight games at home, or something, or in a row, yeah. something like that. I mean, you know, of course, their coach, you know, he went down in history as one of the best coaches, anyway. But I mean. I mean, they were all, but you know, that was, and then they all, you know, then he went to play for Tampa Bay, the quarterback, and he sucked, you know what I mean? Winston or whatever, you know? Yeah, Winston. And he was great in the, in college, you know, but he had a hell of a defense and offense too. That makes a big thing. Totally different transformation when you go from college to the NFL though. Yeah. He says, I'm going to be in the LSU section wearing UGA gear. <laughs> Shit. I don't know. All I got to say is you better watch out this year. That rematch, Michigan versus Georgia. I don't, I don't know. I'm just saying Michigan's defense looks pretty decent. And I know who the dogs are. I get it. But I want to watch out a little bit. Never know. Did They just beat Ohio, didn't they? Yeah, they. That was a t- that was too. that was two good teams right there. I mean, either one of them teams could could have just took it, you know. I mean, I mean, for the season. Yeah, and then uh, I think you got USC as number four right now, and they're playing Utah coming up. I think Utah beats USC, so they get knocked out of the playoffs. Of course, we my team sucks ass anyway. We went two and two and nine this year. Yeah, I don't even want to talk about it. Wisconsin just hired new coach, Brad. What's that? Uh, Venom said Wisconsin just hired a new coach. How'd they do so far this year? I haven't even been following them. Is Benji going to join? I sent him the link. He hearted the message. That's it's. You know. He's probably on Instagram somewhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm going to jump off here. I didn't have my phone charged or nothing. I just thought I'd pop on for a few. So appreciate it. Cool. Oh, nice. All right. Good seeing you, Brad, David, everybody else. You too, Chris. Take care. All right. Later. Talk to you later.
<clears throat> yeah, no, it's yeah. always fun to have Iron Dog up in here, man. I haven't had Iron Dog on my show, I want to say, in a year. No, maybe nine, ten months. Yeah, Something Chris like is a that. good guy. He's a good guy. Venom can join, but I don't understand how Venom can't go to the work. Is uh garage, another bedroom, something. He's probably got the warden standing over him with a with a billy club. A he said they're watching a movie. Yeah. <clears throat> She's probably standing right behind him with the billy club ready to knock him on the skull and break the club. Can we see it on the live stream though? <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Venom. <laughs> Jump on here. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. <laughs> I like watching him when he jumps on alive, and then he's got to jump off real quick when the venom's or when the <clears throat> when the warden's close to the door. Yeah. We have strict rules at the halfway house. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I believe that. That's funny shit. Fries, jump in. Just jump on her. If she smacks you, you know, I'll put you on solo real quick. So, you know, we all get to see it. Uh, really quick, if you guys haven't already, please smack that like button. I truly appreciate it. Like Bosa says, please smash that shit. That'd be really wow. awesome. And if you guys could share this out too, I truly love it. And there's two people watching right now. I'm not going to say the names, but there's two in here that need to go check their IG messengers. Well, yeah. And leave it at that. Ah, oh, yeah, shit. Brad, uh, Chris is at work. So. I wasn't at work. Damn. Make sure you send me the invite. With... <laughs> I want to act like I didn't see that message, Iron Dog, but yes. <laughs> oh, shoot. I smoked a joint one time, but I didn't inhale. What the? That's random venom, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You didn't get it from one of them lot lizards, did you? I hope not. Iron Dog takes screenshots. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Brad, you're going to have to hold the show for like 30 seconds. I'm going to go grab, well, 10 seconds. I'm going to go grab another one. No problem. I hope that you're talking about a mediator for between Venom and Solo and Mitzi. I have no idea what you're saying. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I don't Iron know. Dogs, Iron Dog said they might need a mediator for that uh, deal oh. between Solo and Mitzi there. That's fine. We'll invite Iron Dog. <laughs> I bet you will, Patty. Patty says, Mitzi and I will tear some shit up. <laughs> Not very many people know. I didn't say anything on the live stream tonight. It slipped out of my mouth, but I didn't mean to say it. That's why I should be present. I agree. 
I agree. So it'll I be think we should all be present. <laughs> can only have 10 on the panel at once. Can only have 10 on the panel at once. I think that's on an Instagram deal. I've seen Patty in action. She's good. You might need more than one mediator on that one. Might, might need, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are, what the heck are you all talking about? I don't know, Pat. I'm, I'm just as confused as you. Days and confused. <laughs> yeah, if you leave I mean, the I, chat I, for a second, you're, you're gone. Don't believe Patty. I don't know what's going on either. I'm I'm confused. I'm my mind's blanked. Oh, <laughs> Brad, I'm going to take one for the team. Okay, okay. <laughs> we get Patty started. It'll be fun. I have no idea what anyone is talking about. I'm just here doing an open chat mic night and having a good time. Mitzi and Patty, you're getting kind of, you're getting there. Brad, clear it up for us. Oh, you want me? I don't, th I, I don't think Brad knows what he's talking about either. That's a, shh. Doesn't matter. You just have to stay tuned, I guess. No. But they gotta they gotta advertise this a little more so we can all get in on this. <laughs> okay, Patty, Mitzi, when is this gonna take place? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, we all agree that you're both great. But when is this uh, going to take place? The the college championship? The Super Bowl? No. Uh, I know what you're saying, Brad. I'm trying to avoid this. Oh. oh <laughs> no advertising. What the heck? Ah, oh, Patty. Patty, a party pooper. See, Mitzi wants to advertise. Come on. Uh, what advertise for what? I'm lost. I'm I'm confused. <laughs> You have to be the member. You have to be a member to their OS. <laughs> is that anything like Tinder? What is that? I don't know. See, I don't know what they're talking about either. They're over here just rambling on about stuff. I, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm lost. I bet you right now, Venom's going back to the beginning of the live stream, and he's still. Oh yeah. Sporting. Yeah, he's trying to hit everyone. <laughs> it, it slipped from my mouth tonight. It slipped from my mouth tonight. <laughs> Tinder, only fans, it doesn't matter. Are you going to wrestle? Oh, jeez. No. Patty gave it away.
That's what they said earlier, Venom OnlyFans. Oh, wait, Iron Dog said that. He's on OnlyFans. That's how he's making all that money. Instead yeah. of showing pictures of, of himself. He were buying it up like candy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I was going to say Mitzi so KY wrestling match with Iron Dog as the ref. <laughs> What's KY got to do with this? I haven't seen I haven't seen Rob forever. I don't know what he's up to. I don't think that was the same KY he's talking about. I know, I know. I'm trying to <laughs> yes. take this shit on here. Honestly, I haven't, um, all jokes aside, though, I really haven't heard anything from Rob. Um, I saw a video, I think he posted a day or two or maybe three days ago. Um, but I haven't heard from him. I hope everything yeah, is well. Doing, no. He hasn't been on with TNT or anybody, so... Same. I I really haven't heard from Todd, dude. But normally but Todd, Todd do, he had a live earlier today. But see, but I'm not getting notifications for it at all. Honestly, I'm not seeing anything from Todd. Check your um stuff again because I they wiped mine off from uh, Ink Lines and a couple other people too. I'm surprised they didn't wipe you from mine. To be honest with you. How long I haven't gone live or put out videos or shorts or anything? Yeah, yours was still good, but Rob is doing fine between work and family. He's been busy. I understand that. Oh. Yeah, he's. I I figured he was getting busy there for a while. See, that's weird. Maybe I need to look up Todd's channel again because I'm not getting any. Thing from Todd, but yeah, he comments on my yeah. videos, and I'm wait. I thought honestly, like he hasn't just been posting or anything. No, he's been posting, but not as not as regular and as often as he used to. But oh, so here's one. Here's one, and I want the only one that I know. You know him probably, Brad, but Iron Dog. Have you heard anything from Jason or AKA Uper Fitz Family Constrictors? How's he doing? If anyone's heard from him. It's been a long time since I heard from that guy. What what was his name? Uh, Fitz Family Constrictors, Uper. Oh, Uper yeah. Uper. No, I haven't heard anything from them either. I'll have to go back and check again. I know he stopped, but I thought he was eventually going to come back. I don't. I haven't heard anything from him. I tried hitting him up on, on Facebook, IG. Yeah, he's doing good. Okay, cool. He would come up with some of the craziest games, though, for people to win stuff. Like, I thought his channel was amazing. I'd like to see Jason go live again. That'd be dope. I'd really be, I'd tune in for that shit again, of course. I haven't heard anything from him, though. That's good. Uh, he's doing good, though. That's good. Another yeah, one that isn't, hasn't been doing much is um, Hilljack. Yeah, I haven't heard much from Hilljack either. He had something on, what was it, last week or earlier this week? I forget. Well, I think he popped in. Into... What's that? I was going to say, a lot of the notifications anymore don't let me know anymore. I don't know because no. I was off YouTube for a while or something. But no, You might have to go back and check again to make sure that YouTube did drop them off your list. But after that yeah. deal with J&G, &G, it just seems right like that. Yeah. <sighs> mm. 
No, he doesn't. After that deal with J and G, with Greg pulling his shit, that I was kind of disappointed in that, Chris. What happened between him and J and G? Well, it wasn't between right. him and J and G. It was J and G, him and his wife that got in trouble. For what? Oh, uh, they. It's kind of a big long deal, and I don't want to spread it out on here much. So. Okay. You got Instagram, don't you, David? Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you on there. Do you know my Instagram? Yeah, I've got it on my thing. So back to Patty and Mitzi. <laughs> so Patty, are you guys gonna get dressed up for this jello deal? I have no idea what you're talking about. I know. <laughs> Brad, I know the whole story, story, and I know some rumors were spread that wasn't true. So if I have any questions, or if you, have, if so, any questions, just hit me up. Yeah, I'll probably talk to you later on, Iron Dog, after we get off the live. I saw the news uh, article, so I was just kind of wondering. I actually came up, so this might shock some people. Because normally, like I said yesterday, I don't come up with the reptile list show questions. Derek does. But I got one that I came up with. It's not that I came up with it. I saw an article because we read reptile news shit. And I beat him to it. I beat Derek to something. And I can't, <laughs> wait to talk. I can't wait to talk about it. I can't give it away now. But you guys should definitely tune in Thursday and check this shit out. And I'll, when we talk about that topic, I'll be like, I was the one that found it. Well, really, it was my wife. But I found it. What, what day is this? Thursday. Thursday, okay. <laughs> Iron dog, damn. <laughs> yeah, don't leave Chris out of this. He's supposed to take the screenshots. What's up, cold blooded? Yo, cold blooded. Hey, you should join up, bro. I'm going to drop you a link right now. Haven't talked to you. Haven't. Iron Dog joined, dude. It'd be nice. I tried hitting you up over the phone. I left you a message. Uh, I don't know if you changed your number. Uh, I sent you a text message. Um, but you should join up, man. It'd be good to talk to you. Seen you in a good minute. I'd love to have you on my live stream as normal. Jump in. If you're feeling better. Oh, is he feeling sick? Yeah. See, I'm missing all the shit, goddammit. I'm getting... <laughs> I said if you walk away from the chat for one second, you're lost. I feel it. You see, Patty, Patty and Mitzi already finished their uh, Jello deal. Jesus. <laughs> oh shit. <sighs> yeah, 
Yeah, I haven't heard from Cold Blooded. I haven't heard from very many people. Well, for the last week or so, it's been kind of quiet. Wasn't until this weekend that there's a whole bunch of lives going on, so. That's okay, Cold Blooded. If you're not feeling well, I'm sorry, but I hope you get to feeling a little better. You didn't get that sea crap, did you? What sea crap? What? Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, I was like, I was thinking when you said sea, like the ocean. I was like, what the fuck do you catch from the ocean? <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, that's okay. I was just trying to avoid the word. I don't know how. You well, I know YouTube isn't fond of that word, but Streamyard, I don't COVID, know about. COVID, 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 COVID. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so my wife wants me to bring in this guy on the one I was telling you yesterday uh, about Bill, but I'll for her. I'm going to hit him up. And I know he's going to say no, and we could all laugh at his stupid ass stories. You're going to have Gary on? Uh, pretty much. Gary, Gary the second, just thinner and dumber. Oh, shit. <laughs> you got to admit, he's got some good stories. Fuck. Gary's a fucking moron. I just got <laughs> I just can't imagine him falling out of an airplane. If if Gary decides to go air jump and jump out of a plane to go skydiving, right? I think dude, that is, yes. Fuck, dude. That's like a I'm just saying, I'm not I'm just saying <laughs> not not sound like an asshole. <laughs> that might be a nuke. When he hits the ground, it'd be a nuke. That's what I'm saying. He might yeah, be 50 miles away from that landing. I think he's over in Indiana, so I don't think it'll make it past this side of the Mississippi. So, well, so uh, he is. I don't know. He's. I don't know. He, he, he told me the day. Off when he told me the day on my live stream that he got hit by a car at 35 miles an hour and he had no limping and everything, it's like, it was the next day he got hit by the car? Come on. Really? Like, dude-wise, left and right. I can't. He can well, tell me that, the truth and I might not believe him. You know that car suffered the most damage. I, I, I don't know. Honestly, like, if he got hit by a car at 35 miles an hour, he something should have broke. He would at least scrape marks, you know. You would have you would have flew a little bit, and you would have been beat up a little bit. For him to be not walk, you know, him walking fine and being like everything's fine. Nah. If anything, his wife hit him over the head with a fucking broom. Yeah, or a baseball bat. Or a baseball bat. Yeah. Can we get that on live stream? <laughs> All right, all right, so I will stop because you don't like it. I will stop. Gary's okay. Oh, no, I still like Gary, even though he tells a few stories. He just reminds me of Bill. Like, I just can't stand the stories. It drives me crazy. I know. I know. I was too smart to be a cop. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> now Gary can be okay when he's coherent. Is he ever coherent? Yeah, for a while there he was doing real good. Was he? Yeah, he was doing good for a while there, and then I don't know if he they changed his medication or what the deal it, was. It, but. it was just this last week where on Wednesday. Before the Iron Dog and Chris, or I'm uh, sorry, Chris and Justin gave me the link to the go join the Iron Animal show. Moments before that, Justin was already laying into him. Oh, shit. I, 
I agree. Okay, so I am I am sorry. I will drop Gary's negativity from my mouth. I like you. Uh, you're an amazing person. And I'm sorry that I said shit about Gary. Yeah, not a big deal. Not a big deal. It's the social media. Doesn't matter. He won't even join my live stream, though. <laughs> Come on, Gary. Let me hear a couple stories. I, I will stop though, so I know you said don't be sorry, but I will stop bashing Gary. Like, that was a little rude, I guess. It was. Um, Gary's a character, though. He is a very. Oh, he is a character. Character. But well, we've got other people characters too. We're all characters in our own right. So, yeah, I mean, I'm the one that doesn't make a difference. Okay, so my character is, I guess, like I'm too straight with the truth, or at least I find it the truth, and then I'm an asshole. I say, got that shit, and I'm trying to stop it. And, um, yeah. Is YouTube giving you crap about that? Got that shit? No, my wife is. I'm trying, she wants oh. to. Oh, she wants that's me to be worse. more family oriented. So I'm trying to lose a lot of the say, cutting. I was going to say that's worse having your wife that way than YouTube. I agree. Because you don't, you don't, you don't sleep with YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Morbid, what is up? How you doing, Morbid? What's up, Morbid? I love everyone, honestly. I'm not perfect. I talk shit about people, but I'm learning to make myself better. So I give you 100% credit on that. That's, you know, much love to you. Much love. And um, if there's, like I said, you, you know how, you know, I love you and all that. So um, I, I that is kick ass about you, that you were learning to make yourself better. And, um, I had to do that by stepping away from YouTube for a while. So, but I mean, I, I feel like I'm a better person, but do I still run my mouth about shit? I don't like, yeah. Doesn't matter. Just got home, went to two to two and a half hours drive one way from my mother's to pick up a fucking dog. I'm sorry. I, mm. I said the effing word though. See, I was honest about it. I said fucking <laughs> on my live stream. Patty, I'm hurt. I thought I was the only one you loved. What kind of dog? Yeah, what kind of dog? Was it a chihuahua? Yeah. Was it a golden chow? Was it a pit bull? Was it a German shepherd? Was it a husky? Was it a malamute? Was it a, a, a golden retriever? A lab? A dachshund? A dachshund? There we go. That's for you, Patty. Was it a wiener? <laughs> You've always been a great dude, David. Appreciate yep. that, Solo. Love you. Please tell us it was a wiener, wiener dog and you named it Daisy. Weenies. <laughs> <laughs> or Mickey. A black pug. Her pug just passed away. I'm well, sorry to hear oh, that. That sucks. I'm sorry. Happy at the same time. That sucks. I'm really sorry. Pugs are a riot. Not real smart, but they're cute, cuddly, and goofier than shit. I don't know. I've always been a, a fan of German Shepherds, Huskies, Malamutes, um, Chows. Even though a Chow bit my face, but I still want a Golden Chow. Um, Pitbulls are cool. Um, Rottweilers. 
Yeah. I don't like ankle biters. <laughs> Get him, Mickey. That sucks, though. Yeah. Daddy, <laughs> Daddy, that made me laugh. That was funny. That was. Oh funny. yes, most definitely. I think when my dogs are gone, I might take break from owning any. I want to travel, and that's hard to do, especially owning a mastiff. Mastiffs are big. Mastiffs are cool. That made me laugh, though, Stella. That made me laugh. <laughs> you got everyone laughing. You got Cold Bloody, you got Mincy. <laughs> hell, hell, by the time summer gets here, I'm going to have at least 16 snakes. See, that's why it's hard for me to go on vacation because I got the rats, I got the snakes, I got the lizards and the tortoise now. Plus, I got two kids and I'm married. So, that's a lot of different animals and people to take care of. And my vacation is more like I'm staying home. I don't got time to go anywhere. No one's going to take care of my rats and they got to be checked on daily. The snakes once a week feeding, the lizards every other day, the tortoise constantly needs their thing filled every three days. <sighs> it's, just, it's chaotic, but I love it. My rats are good for about a week without me. Reptiles, they can go a lot longer than that, so. Yeah. It's mostly my rats, I would have to say, and the lizards now. I mean, the tortoise, I could just put a whole pile of food in her dish, and I know I'd be good for a week. But the lizards mm -hmm. and the rats, though, daily. Like, I don't know what it is, but they, my rats eat through their food like crazy, and I fill it up like, I'll, I'll make a video about it, where the next day, half their food's gone. And, like, they have a good section on the rat rack where it's, like, tons of food. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> But then again, I'm, I have like 140 right now. Rap, easy. I think I only got about 30 ASFs left, so. Okay. Closest place I can get rats is down in Cheyenne, so that's a 400-mile drive. Almost 200 each way. I love your piggies, Morbid. Yeah. Your reptile says kids and married wouldn't be a problem for me. Wife could always wash the kids. Not the same with the pets. Nobody to wash them. No. Oh. Chihuahua? Betsy, what do you mean with Chihuahua? They're, they're mean. My mom and my sister have Chihuahuas there. And then there's this little, I don't even know what kind of dog he is. But he's like a foot and nothing tall. And he's not even Chihuahua. But every time he sees me, he, everyone in my family, he wants to kill me. I don't know why. But when I have food in my hand, he loves me. The minute I don't have food, he's growling, trying to bite me. He's an asshole. <laughs> I got a Chihuahua and she... People like that years ago had mid pins. Nasty little bastards until you sit down on a couch or a chair or something and then they're both in your lap. <laughs> oh, that's sad. I'm sorry, Solo. If it makes you feel better, all my wife's, or all my <laughs> wife's, sorry. My, my wife doesn't have a dog, but my sisters and my mom, they both have dogs and they all hate me. They all hate me. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I smell like reptile. I don't know. Betty Boop. Nice. Betty Boop. 
Oh, this is so hard. Hey, Brad, this is so hard. Like, I, I am now vaping. No more cigarettes. It is rough. Dude, I, I just want to, like, yeah, no. I just... Oh, I went a week without cigarettes, and I went into town today and bought some, so. So I went, I quit two months ago, lasted a month, and then because my drug test coming up, I, uh, I couldn't stop smoking. And weed and cigarettes at the same time, so uh, it's like I picked up smoking again, and now I gotta quit again because I get drug tested this week, and this does it, but it doesn't do it. It's not the same. Yeah. Well, Mitzi, unlike um, Patty, you can't have a house full of weenies right now. That's about how old my cat is, and he's starting to show it. Sorry to say this, Brad, but I hate cats. Oh, I was never a fan, but the last two cats I've had, they were both good. They were great. They were good mousers. Target still is a good mouser. Hairball was a good mouser in her day. In the last year of her life, she just kind of quit chasing mice. <laughs> oh, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny shit. Oh, damn. Oh, the litter box ain't that bad. If you got, I got two and a half acres I can throw it in, so not a big deal. I just don't like cats, period. I like cats because they keep my place free of mice. And with the neighbors, we got three of them around here. Three of us got cats, so it keeps the neighborhood free of mice. Oh, Mitzi, you've been hanging around Patty way too much. <laughs> oh, that was funny shit. That was funny shit. <laughs> oh, shit. I needed these laughs today. That's good. FYI, two people in the chat need to go check their IG and make sure they check it, please, here soon. <laughs> that is funny though that is very funny that is good iron dog's all head explosion <laughs> <Iron dog's all> <laughs> <laughs> oh this wave is killing me but that was funny yeah <laughs> yeah hell Cold buddy, so where do I sign up? Yeah. I'll send you the form. I'll send you the form. <laughs> oh, shit. Are you at work tonight, Patty? I'd rather be a house trained to pigs than a cat. That is true. I'm sorry. I do. When it comes to actual, like, I don't like cats. I'd rather have pigs. I'd rather have anything. I'd, uh, spiders. And I hate spiders. No offense to anyone that has spiders. 
I'm off weekends, same. I don't work the weekends. Well, I had to work today, but it was only two hours. Come on, Patty, be honest. Just weekends? But please make sure there's two people in the chat. I'm not going to say their names. Please to make sure check your IGs. Please. It's going to be this coming weekend, hence, hence. <laughs> Come on, Patty. A friend told me you were off all the time a little, a little bit. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh damn. You're bright, give me one minute. Okay, so what's everybody else been up to? Patty, we're all off in the head a little bit. You're not exclusive to that club, and you got a long ways to go to catch up with me. Oh, that's right. You went to Illinois. Shit. I forgot about that even though I watched your Instagram, so. Did you drive or fly? All right, I'm back. I drive everywhere, damn. Yeah. I'd rather drive than fly. The reason all of this talk, I have to go take care of something. Oh, I mean, fish. I need there you go. Walk. <laughs> God damn it, Chris. Uh, I'm not going to say the day we're going live. I, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I meant what I was going to say was, I don't, I don't know what the fuck everyone's talking about. I'm lost. <laughs> Oh, shit. Low life. Holy shit. What's up, Thomas? How have you been, bro? Long time no see. Listen to like, man. What's going on, low life? I haven't seen Thomas in a good fucking minute. I got a stickers right up on the board right up there. So, uh, Iron Dog, I'll definitely hit you up. I got you. Or, you know, you got me. And 
Yeah. We'll go from there. How are you doing, Thomas? Yeah, them two gals got a tendency to do that to all of us. I'd rather drive than just for the views. Yeah, same. I'd rather drive, too. Most definitely. Thomas, are you still driving diesel? How's your work going? Long time no see, man. Well, I mean, you were, you joined the other day, but I really didn't get to talk to you because everyone was talking. And, uh, you know, that's what the chat is about and all that. So good to see you, man. Thomas, how Yo, old are you? Yo, Brad, I got a question for you. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's cool, Thomas. That's really cool, man. I hope all's going well. I'm glad to see that you said not bad, but I hope it goes even better, man. I truly do. Brad, when are you going to start a full YouTube channel? Um, <laughs> God, yes, the I, hardest questions. How's it a hard question? Well, it was he. Oh, shit. Thomas, a young guy. Damn. I'd rather ride. <laughs> I'm not going to say. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brad, why oh, have you started a YouTube channel? I don't know. One of these days. They have to wait till spring now because you can't herp anymore, except for snow snakes. Well, yeah, but you got the ball python now. You have the glue, the helo monsters. So I always want to say glue. Yeah, monsters. they're all gonna, they're gonna go to sleep here this so week. I, so. I drive in, ride. Damn, I don't even want to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell! I, fucking cold blooded, dude. <laughs> I'd rather get road. <laughs> I'm just gonna shut up. I'm trying to ask Brad a serious question here. <laughs> Seriously, why haven't you started YouTube? I will one of these days. Not going to say which day. Hey, I want to be honest with you. It's better to start one late than never, or now That's than never. And, and the reason why I say that is because here's why. The longer and longer you think about it, forget the views, dude. There's all my feeding videos. Like when it comes to shorts, yeah, I average like a couple thousand easy. But with my content, I only get like 50 to 150 views at most. Yeah. Like, I don't get a ton of views like everyone else do. Yeah, so, I'll start. Views. After they come out of brumation in March is when I'm thinking about it. Start putting them when I, come, when I take them out of uh, brumation and all that. Do, so. of the do some of the ball pythons. Ah, there's 10 million of them out there with ball pythons. But okay, so there's a have you have you seen the video of the one with my Bella in it? Her name's Shiva, and she ate the rat alive. Like she only strangled it for twenty seconds, broke its back, and it was still alive, kicking down her mouth. After, even when she was swallowing it, in the back legs they were kicking out of her mouth. Yeah, and I got so scared. I called out her dog. I was like, "Is she gonna die?" <laughs> Hold on, I'll be back in a minute. Yep. I want to read that comment right there. I want to post it up here real quick because that's a really good comment. Thank you, Reptile. So Eat Reptiles, Tammy. Um, no, you're not going to get me in trouble, Solo. You're fine. You're totally fine, Solo. I promise you. You're not going to get me in trouble. My wife's watching. You're fine. Um, damn it, Iron Dog. Can you help me out here? There's Tammy. There's E reptiles. I gotta make blue. Who else do I gotta make blue? There's two other people. And trust me, I promise you so, so. You're not gonna get me in trouble. You're fine. Fry, that's three. There's one more then. Who's not blue? 
fry e exotic or e reptiles um cami and there's one more that i gotta make blue But trust me, Solo, you're not going to get me in trouble. Or anyone in the chat, you're not going to get me in trouble. She's watching. She don't, she's laughing her ass off, so it's all good. Um, there's one more person, though. i got to make blue tonight. God damn it. I'm going to scroll to the very top, see if I can't find it. Eat reptiles. No, Venom's blue. Fries. I'll figure it out. I felt like an asshole. I said I would. Now I can't remember. Ten in the house. So I'm going to say this while we're waiting on Brad. I'm going to drop the link again if anyone wants to join. Two people need to go check their IG accounts for certain reasons. I'm not going to say those reasons on here, but um, go check your IGs, please, so we can make this happen. And there's the link. And if you guys haven't already, please smack that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this shit out. That'd be truly amazing. Um, so we've got at least a good hour and 30 minutes to go. It's only almost 7 o'clock my time. Um, so plenty of time to go. Oh, cat eyes. There you go. Bam. E-reptiles. Bam. Cat eyes, e-reptiles, Tammy, and fry. Fry? Fry? Fry. 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 Oh, this is killing me not being able to smoke a cigarette. I want a cigarette so bad, but I got to smoke on this fucking vape juice. Write it down or forget. You're right. I got to write this down. Or I am going to forget. Up. Oh. Copyright, because I hear the NFL in the background. Wow, I'm shocked the Packers even put up 20 points, lazy motherfuckers. Grabbing a piece of paper. Use this old sports one. All right, so Fry, Cammy, B Reptiles, and Cat. Okay, I read I read it or wrote it. I wrote it down. Patty, you said. So, Patty, you say you cooled down some. Well, let me. <laughs> I'm not going to say. So, there's a question for you, Brad, from E Reptiles. It says, you don't have to post regularly, Brad. I just post 
when I find something. Sometimes that's months between. I was just thinking about that. I should fo photograph some of the wildlife here around my place. If I can get the coyotes to sit still for a second. I think coyote posing with quail would be great. So uh, how's it in Wyoming? I'm pretty sure this is like nationwide, but in Nevada, you're allowed to shoot coyotes at any time. Like you go hunting for them at any time you feel like. Yep, same way here. There's plenty of them around. Oh yeah. Coyotes, skunks, coons, all that kind of stuff. See, so I, I, had a, I had a real nice buck hanging around the house here, but I haven't seen him for a couple of weeks now, so I think somebody probably got him. Yeah, I've got trail cams. I just need to put them out. I agree. Iron Dar just said. Brad, you yep. can start doing videos now and stockpile yep. them, and when until then, you know, drop one every week. I agree. Yep. Like as for me, content is now so easy. Well, because having the two green bass clothes, they got to eat every other day. So like, I didn't film this one because mine's not marked for kids, of course. And wow. I had my me and my sons feeding them yesterday, so. Definitely be posting something with him here soon. He actually jumped out of the, the male jumped out of the closure onto my son and on me and then jumped into where I had the dubia roaches and grabbed three of them. And I had to grab him out of there. because He's going to probably mash them all up real quick. Nice. <laughs> and I was like, get your nice. out of there, dude. I've never shot an animal, but there's a coyote that keeps coming around. I might end up having to do this. Have I mean, you got to do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, usually in the spring and early summer, I got to clean out all the coons and skunks from the neighborhood. So I set live traps around the neighbor's house because they don't want those damn things in there. And I took a bunch of those this year, but that's not good YouTube content, so... Iron Dog just said you can upload them right to YouTube and put them as private. And once you get a bunch in there, you can schedule, schedule them out them. when you're yep. ready. I should have got that buck when he was right outside the window here. How big? I go, I mean, you know, pointers. Yeah, it's a, uh, eight, it was an eight pointer, well, no, it was 10 pointer, eastern count. So five pointer, western count. Okay. You ever go trapping? I do, but that's not something I want to put on YouTube. And plenty of people do it. And they put it on. I YouTube. know, I know. But like all the skunks and coons I catch, I don't want to put that stuff on YouTube. But yeah, we get mountain lions around here like crazy. We don't have a closed season on those either. Really? Yeah. We got Man. so many here. I mean, you can. You can go out every day of the year and find mountain lion sign up in the mountains or even just out where I'm at. There's a place on the eastern side of Nevada. It's, uh, I can't remember the mountain range, but uh, I know it's not the Sierra Nevada. Over by and Wendover? Called, yes, and it's called, U it's called USA or Mountain Lions USA. It's like, it, or something like that. And like, it's just packed of mountain lions over there. Yeah, and I always yeah. call wind I always call wind over bend me over because people that gamble there bend over and lose their money. 
Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah, we got we got mountain lions and bobcats up the kazoo. So I've never seen a mountain lion, but I don't want to see the first one in my yard. Hey, if you see that mountain, trust me. And, and Brad, tell me if I'm wrong. If you see the mountain lion, that's good. Trust me, that's a good thing because ninety percent of the time, you won't see the mountain lion until it's on top of you. Yep. That is true. You see the mountain lion, he doesn't care if you see him. No. If you Man. catch him first, that's a good thing. Yeah. If he if you don't see him and you're just chilling there and he can't woo, it's a bad idea. Yeah. Like I say, our season runs from January first at midnight to December thirty first at midnight. So you buy your first license, and after you fill that, you can go get a, another tag for another lion at a reduced cost and keep doing that all you want. And it ain't making a dent in them. One thing that I've always wanted, this might sound fucked up for people, but uh, trapping for bobcats. I've always wanted a bobcat rug. <laughs> I'll tell you a story about bobcat trapping here. A few years ago, I had a boss when I worked for the state <clears throat> here in Wyoming. Well, he always wanted a bobcat to mount. So his buddy, now this goofball buddy of his was attacked two years in a row up in the Bighorn Mountains, just north of Casper here, and got attacked two years in a row by a grizzly. Damn. Two years in a row. That's how goofy this asshole is. So he takes Jeff out trapping to get a bobcat. Well, they get one to trap, and then they don't know how to get it out. So they figure they're going to pin this thing down with a big stick, to hold its head down while they take it out of the trap instead of shooting it first and then taking it out of the trap, they decide they're going to do it that way. So the thing is still in the trap, works its head out from underneath the log and tears both of them up. So they go to the hospital, all tore up, and they ask, well, what the hell did you guys get into? And they said, well, we were trapping a bobcat. And trying to take it out of the trap. So then the hospital decides, well, you can't trap bobcats. That's against the law. So they call in the sheriff's department, the fishing game, the police department. And they're all down at the hospital questioning these two squirrels about trapping bobcats. And they asked them, they said, why didn't you shoot the damn thing and then take it out of the trap? Of course, it wasn't illegal. It's just they got tore up. They both got stitches, had to get rabies shots, tetanus shots, all that crap. But that's how goofy this guy, Jeff's buddy is. So, but to get attacked two years in a row in the Bighorn Mountains by a grizzly is just ludicrous. He's the type of person, I think, that goes to Yellowstone and got to get out and pet the bison. Yeah, Red Dirt had uh, a bobcat or two. I wouldn't mind having a bobcat as a pet. They make good pets. You got to get them when they're young, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to take them. <laughs> but you're about, they're the mountain lions. They make good pets, too. But once There's again, you want to get them when they're young. You don't want to be like, yeah, I found this oh, mountain lion that's fully grown in the middle of the fucking mountains, and I'm going to take it home. Like, Yeah, I put a collar on him, and he followed me right to my truck. <laughs> wake up in your dinner. Or if you wake up. Uh, Steve Irwin's wife, Terry, 
she's from Oregon or Washington. She had a, a pet or a pet mountain lion. For years, she had that cat. I wouldn't mind a baby bobcat cub, dude. Honestly, I'd keep it. My wife might oh, yeah. hate that, but. Dude, well, same, same with coyotes. I know people that have kept coyotes for years, you know, got them as pups, got them out of the den or something, you know, and had them for years. They were great pets. Very great pets. Like, I mean, I've heard, yeah, no, a mountain lions, not really. I've never heard stories about that, but bobcats, yeah. No, the mountain lions are too. They make good pets. There's a Russian I mean, channel. Too. Russian channel on YouTube. I was following him for all oh, the last few years, him and his wife, and they've got a pet mountain lion. I think they've got a cheetah now, too. So that would be dope, dude. I would love a cheetah. Yeah. If like you see the neighbor's dog, cat, get it. <laughs> not really, not really. That was a joke. Don't get don't don't take me serious. I was I was just joking, but no, honestly, like if I could get a bobcat as a cub, oh damn right, dude, I'm taking that shit home. A mommy cub, I'll 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 run. I don't know. I'll run mommy's hard taking the cub from the mom. But if I could get a bobcat, that'd be dope. I haven't seen Sherry's photo of a mountain lion. I did watch Terry's videos that she had years ago of her and her uh, mountain lion. But I didn't know Sherry had a picture of her and a mountain lion or a bobcat or whatever she had. You can probably go out any time of the night here in Wyoming and see a mountain lion. I uh, so this is what Brad and I are going to do. Brad's going to come to Reno or Nevada, and we're going to go hunting for bobcat cubs. He's going to take one home. I want to take one home. I want to see how long we first want to get fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about that. I wish I had the money. I'd put an enclosure in my backyard. I've got two oh, acres. No, dude, I'd, let, I'd, I'd, sleep, I'd let that thing sleep with me in the bed. Oh, yeah. I'd have it house trained, but I got a place, you know, I've got land enough to where I could build something and a completely enclosed cage and have either a mountain lion or a bobcat or both. But Not a mountain lion. I can't do that, dude. I'd be too, I, I ain't going to lie. I'd be too much of a. Oh, no. All the people I've known that have had mountain lions for pets, they were great. Shit, and once they got to know you, like me being a stranger coming around, once they got to know you, they were great. I'd be too afraid. I'd be too afraid. Uh, David, I bet your wife that would throw your ass outside <laughs> out the, the door. Hey, that's fine. Me and the lion would become best friends and we'd sleep and snuggle <laughs> together. We would find our own prey. I'd start acting like a fucking bat line. I'd be like, wow. <laughs> place on one of the bridges there with the rest of the homeless people. and You'd have it made. Yeah, I would claim the bridge. <laughs> yeah. Most definitely. Most definitely. A bobcat, though, I mean, because they, they don't get that big, right? Like, I'm just saying, they typically don't get bigger than standing on all fours. Two and a half, three feet to three and a half at most, right? But they well, that, yeah, that's I, still pretty good sized, right? That's pretty good but, size. My big, my big tomcat only stands about a little better than a foot at the shoulders. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, oh, so. Patty, patty, patty. I think my wife would be terrified if I came home with a bobcat cub. And I would feed that thing like a, of course, nothing alive. I don't yeah. want that thing thinking food's alive, but. <laughs> I 
can't wait till they get up to 60 pounds. I don't know if they get up to 60. I know 40 is pretty common. Brad, you're on charge. I got to grab another one. Okay. Got 20 <laughs> seconds. Got it. Got that chip. Yeah, I was going to say that 40 is about usual. I think that one my buddy got in a trap was 32, if I remember right. But I can go stand outside in my driveway almost any night of the week and listen to the coyotes just across the highway. Sometimes they're behind me down by the river. Sometimes they're across the highway. I got to say it because you said it. I got to say this because you said it. What? Got that shit. <laughs> yeah. I had to say it. Sorry. I had to say it. What I would like you. To, what I would like to see in the wild is a wolverine. Other than watching Same nature stuff from Yellowstone. Yeah. I like Montana, Wyoming, Idaho. We've all got wolverines out here. But they're usually not anywhere around people normally. That has got to be the one. I think I would get hit on. I'm not saying online. I'm not saying online. I'm not yeah. saying with people that follow me. But my neighbor wise, they would hate me if I had a bobcat. Probably. I don't think anybody out here would really give a shit. I live in an apartment complex. Yeah. See, I'm ten miles. It's not easy to get. It's not easy yeah. to come to my place. So I want to take you guys on a little adventure. I want to show you guys. The so you know, passing the washing dryer, but when you go out, it's not like everything is in a hallway, everything is a hallway. And when you look down, there's more of a fucking hallway. Holy shit! So, bringing a bobcat in here would be hard. My neighbor's dog howls with the coyotes, Patty. He's pretty funny. I do, though. I want a podcast so bad. Somebody awesome. else, somebody mentioned that on a live stream the other day that they were looking for a bobcat. And I think Iron Dog said he knew somebody that could fix him up. Dude, I got to go. You know what? You're, you're getting me in the mood to go find a fucking bobcat cub and maybe even risk of getting clawed the fuck up. <laughs> I don't think the cubs are too bad. If you get them when they're real young, I mean, they take to you real quick. Thank you, Solo. I appreciate that. It'd be awesome, though. Are you drinking a Foster's? Who, me? No, that wasn't the can you just held. It was blue. I saw the can. Oh, that's a cozy. Oh, okay. The can's the same thing. Okay, my bad. Mammoth site over in South Dakota. Yeah. 
I don't know how many mammoths they've discovered over there. But you, I think it's open like 365 days a year or something like that. You can even get in on the digs if you want to. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm sorry, Brad. I didn't mean to leave you. That's okay. You're fine. I was seeing what's up with Benji. He said he was going to join. Like, come on, Benji, where you at? Get your boat in here. I don't hate you. I love you. No homo. Benji, we all love you. Benji, we love you. If you're watching, we love you. No homo. I'm back. Let me just turn my camera back on. Seven in the house already. Civil, if you guys haven't already, two of you go check your IGs. The rest of you smack that like button, share the shit out. We still got a good like hour and a half to go. I said that earlier, but we still got a good hour and a half to go, and we're going to keep bullshitting and hanging Hell out, yeah. having a good fucking time. It's fucking goddamn motherfucking Sunday, and uh, sadly, I got work tomorrow, but that's another goddamn question. <laughs> <laughs> Benji, we need somebody in here to talk about to Taurus. Yes. Hey, Benji, I need help learning. See this? See this, Benji? I need help learning. We need you. We need Benji the God guitarist to come out here and show me a thing or two so I can practice. You know, as for me, I can't carry a tune in a bucket. So. No, but I, I'm really good at carrying a 32 pack on both hands. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, Venom's back. Venom, I'm dropping. I'm Venom. You better fucking join, bro. I fucking love you, and no homo, no homo. But you better join, I was, bro. I was <laughs> gonna show. I was gonna show a nip, but I don't think I'm gonna do it now that I know Venom's back. He scares Venom, me. Venom, I swear, I better hear this goddamn voice of yours, and you better come up here and tell me about this SEC game you're about to go to, because I'm jelly. Okay. All right, I want to see some goddamn football. And Nevada Wolfpack just sucks butthole. All right, we're two and nine. We suck ass. We're not going to bowl game. Our season is over. We lost the cannon. Fuck my life. Two of you in the chat. Two of you in the chat. Check your IGs, please. Well, one of you in the chat, because the other one always responds to me. I see smiling faces going on. You guys are all laughing because we suck. Oh, shit. We might have got the... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Doesn't load up for Venom. There, there. Come on. Come on. I got to keep it on the lowdown, peeps, because, you know, I live, I live at the halfway house, right? So I got to make sure the guard's not watching right now. So I'm good for a minute. Patty, Patty do not turn Venom in. No, don't 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 call me in. What's up, David? <laughs> Not much, David. Hey, about that, I don't know what How you're talking you been about. Doing? Good, man. <laughs> I, got, I went to the game last week. Uh, I mean, the other day, whatever it was Saturday, yesterday. Yeah, yeah, I went to the games yesterday too. Against Georgia Tech. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Chilling, and then I'm going next week to the to Atlanta. So, you know. The SEC championship. Oh, yeah. Nice. nice. LSU has no rights to be in that game. Yeah. Probably should be Alabama, but, you know, whatever. No, because, honestly, you guys dominate the SEC already this year. You guys are undefeated. There should be no contenders. It's the same with Michigan. They shouldn't be playing fucking Purdue. No. Like, no one cares. Mm -mm. Nope. Venom, quick question. Yeah. Okay, I'm asking for a friend now. 
Is that pygmy rattlesnake you got single? No, I sold the pygmy and the coral snake. Oh, oh man. Uh, Did you yeah. really? Yeah. So I've still got the uh, the timber and the savannah monitor and a couple of, you know, big nasty. I still got that one, but yeah. I sold some of it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my, my son used to help me uh, take care of this stuff and he moved to, to Kentucky. So, yeah. I uh, I try to do the best I can with it. Shit, that was the best looking pygmy I've ever seen. Oh yeah, yeah, that was a damn pretty one. And that coral snake wasn't nothing to sneeze at either. <laughs> yeah. You still got the uh, Gila monsters up there, Brian? Oh yeah, yeah, they're getting ready to go down for brumation. I fed them the other night. I'll give them a couple of days and then turn everything off on them. Already turned their heat down a little bit, so yeah. They know winter's coming. Oh, yeah. I thought uh, winter was already here. <laughs> oh, well, for them, it's, you know, still kind of late, but they'll go down this week and you to stay down until the end of February. Venom, do you have to do the same thing with your rattlesnake? Yeah, well, I try to keep the, the heat um, the best I can still up during the winter, but they know. They know. I don't know if they know by the... Um, the time when it gets dark and light and all that yeah, stuff. They they know, yeah, they yeah. know when it's winter time. So and the barometric so, pressure. So they go into brumation during the winter. Yeah, I don't I don't feed them much during the winter time. Yeah, yeah mine won't get fed now until March. And you can tell when they're hungry because they come up at the glass and they're like looking at you. <laughs> like yeah. Feed me. yeah. But, okay, so uh please come back. We'll be here. What's what up, about Venom from Morbid? That's my boy, Mr. Morbid. So, so how's the um, how's the Savannah? Savannah's doing good. Yeah, he's doing the same thing. He's kind of like, you know, chilling because he knows. I mean, the, I got his heat on, but it's not the same. They they know they're like dormant during the winter time, so. He's just kind of chilling. There's a question for both of you. Where, Where do they sleep for information? Uh, deer in their hide box. Yeah, mine do the same. They stay in their enclosures and mm -hmm. it's there. But down in the basement here, I can. my basement's completely finished. So I just turn the heat off down here. And they're fine. It'll get down to, yeah, 50, 55 down here at night in the wintertime. So they're fine. Yeah. So I keep the, like the uh, the house still stays at like sixty nine with the heat and stuff. So, but they know they still know it's like winter time. So they're like still yeah. going to brumation. I might see the heel monsters maybe two or three times throughout the winter, and I always keep a water dish in there for them. And that's all they do is come out, get a drink, go back to sleep. And as soon as it starts warming up, they know. I yeah. got a prediction for for Venom. I got a prediction. Because it's mm -hmm. number one versus number four. So mm -hmm. number one would be Georgia yeah. versus number four, UCS. Georgia wins UCS. Number two versus number three, Michigan loses TCU. College champ the national championship will be Georgia versus TCU. And you might want to think about that matchup because TCU is not a joke this year. I don't know, but I don't think they're going to beat Michigan, man. I, I mean, uh, I agree. No, no, they're not a joke. But... I, I got I got Michigan losing to TCU. Yeah, and they may, but I don't know. We'll see. I think TCU covers their first ever national championship this year. I'm sorry, but I think the dogs fall short. Yeah, they're not. Georgia's not as good as they were last year. I mean, they're they're but they're still good. But um, yeah, we'll see. It'll be it'll be interesting to watch for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. I love the college na national mm -hmm. championship and the Super Bowl together. Like if they could do the same game at the same time on the same field, fuck Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe it though? The Browns beat the Bucks today. No, <clears throat> I can't. What about my dirty bird? Did they win? I didn't even watch. 
I don't know about the Falcons. They might not even play today, I don't know. No, they played. Find out. Yeah, I don't know who they played. Brad, do you watch any football? No. Nah. No, nah, I've quit watching football pretty much altogether. Um, I got fed up with the NFL, so oh, I just they added to. Yeah. yeah. I got tired of the Packers coming in every year and playing like hell until the playoffs, and then they screw up so damn bad. That, okay, so E Rip tells us that they lost, uh, Falcons lost to the Commanders. <laughs> yep, that is true. 13 to 19. 13 to 19. Okay. Well, shit. They're not very good. So yeah. It's not the Redskins anymore, E Reptiles. It's the Commanders. Yeah, we can't say Redskins anymore. <laughs> Mm. I don't know. I've never never been PC, so never been, never will. Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> it's kind of like, what the hell? So Benji never came on tonight, huh? I guess he messaged uh David, but he thinks everybody's mad at him. What? For what? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's social media. Who gives a shit? Right. Yo, give me one second. You guys handle the show for a second. Gotcha. Got that shit. All right, Brad. You're in charge, sir. You taking off? Nope. I'm just going to do like David. (laughs) Oh, shit. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, I thought Benji'd pop in, but yeah, uh, yeah. So while I was gone, did y'all ever figure out what's going on with Solo and Mitzi? Well, they were supposed to have some kind of a Jello wrestling match, but oh, neither one good. of them will say when it is. Oh, dang. Well, I don't know. I mean, if they don't do it, we're going to have to go to to the lot lizards and see if we can get some of them to do that. Oh, that makes it to count. No, what happened with Venomous HQ? Did he get bit? That's what I'm guessing. (laughs) Iron Dog. (laughs) And uh, E-Reptile said they're having a KY wrestling. I don't know. I haven't seen much out of Quentin either. Shit. I haven't even seen him on Instagram. Well, he might have got bit by something. So Iron Dog, maybe he'll tell us. <laughs> that could be. I'm not laughing. I'm sorry. It's not funny. But what did he do, Iron Dog? Go ahead, spill the beans, man. I'm laughing about the KY wrestling match. That's what I'm laughing at. I just want to eat some of that Jello when they're done. And that's serious too. So I shouldn't laugh at that at all. Yeah. So, yeah. That's serious, too. Okay, Chris, come on. Spill beans. Let's he hear it. I can hear him typing in the background. Here he is. Here we go. He got bit by his Chinese got bit cobra. by his Chinese cobra. Oh, yeah. I bet it did about killing. Ooh, shit. Well, you freehand all that stuff. You know what's going to happen. What's up, low life? Uh, Mitzi saw him last night on IG, so he's okay. He's still alive. That's good. Yeah, good, good. But, you know, don't freehand all that stuff. Come on, now. It's not worth it. No, that one, a hospital bill might cost you Oof. a quarter to a half million bucks. Mm-hmm. Yep. I would never, would never do it. No, all the years that I've had rattlesnakes, I never, ever free handled. I might have tailed a few, but that was it. Yeah, this timber I've got, I mean, I've had her since. You guys said Iron Dog was back? I didn't see Iron. Oh, shit. Yeah. He's been away for a while, blah, blah, blah. I saw him last on IG. Mitzi's still here. Low Life is still here. E Reptiles. I love all you guys watching solo. 
fucking you guys all kick ass. Venom, you're just you're just a filthy whore. <laughs> I'm a what? It doesn't matter. It's time to play. You're, you're a good guy. <laughs> you should be praised. We should build a whole like statue of Venom and pray to him. At least a bronze statue. That'd be gold. Just bronze. Bronze would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> no matter time, it just... Yeah. Yeah. At least the Chinese Cobra got him instead of the forest Cobra. That probably would have been worse. That wasn't his Chinese forest cobra, was it? I don't know. Is that two different ones, Chinese and forest? Well, he had he had a Chinese forest cobra. It was a good-looking snake. Oh, I know I said he sent you guys the, one, the, the post, but not me. Okay. Oh, nice. I'm just joking. Nice. I'm, just joking. Okay. I'm just joking. I'll check it. I'll check it later. Yeah. Solo, Solo did a kissy face. Who was that for? Just, just wondering. That was probably for all of us because she's been playing us all tonight. Oh, okay. He said he put him in a coma. Yeah. Coma for two days. Damn, Whew. that sucks. Yeah. Well, I mean, the way he holds him, I mean, he's like... Uh, I, 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 yeah, I don't understand. I know. He's like Chandler and all the rest of them. Tyler... Well, okay, so uh, should the kissy face for everyone. Thank you. Thanks to kissy face. Better <laughs> than oh. the first one. He's all, thank you. Yeah, th <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Ah, <laughs> oh, oh, damn. Coma for two days. Thanks. Damn. I got live streams. So I'm not joking. I got a guest Tuesday. I got a guest Saturday. Thursday's the Reptile Love Show. Sunday, I'm not going to say any more besides two special guests. Can we only leave it at that? And, uh, <laughs> well, you got to tell us more than that now. Come on, David. I can't do that, Venom. If you didn't catch it earlier, I split it and I got to leave it at that. And, I can't say any more. Okay, so I know who it is. It's Patty and, um, and Mitzi. I, I no, know you're who. wrong. It's you and it's you and Brad on Sunday. <laughs> you don't know it yet. <laughs> okay. Are you still married? married? I'm asking for a friend. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm asking well, for a friend. 25 years, man. That's a life, life without parole right there, brother. Twenty-five. Sure. Okay, Patty, I'm still on the market. <laughs> Brad's still in the market. I'm still in the market. Venom's gonna stay married. Yeah, I'm. I'm life's in it, brother. What do you do? What do you do? All right, guys, Thursday's get... gonna be good though. You guys shouldn't miss Thursday though. I got a, I got a topic. I finally beat Derek on, and you guys want to see this shit or hear about this shit, and you guys can <laughs> look it up. But it was crazy when I found out about it. Oh shit! Iron Dog is going to be he... all right. Okay. He's, he's, talk, about... he's got... talking about Quentin. He's talking about Quentin. Yeah. Yeah. All right, fellas, I got to go check my uh, anti-venom supply in the uh, frig refrigerator, and I'll holler at y'all another time. Okay. Peace out, brothers. Thanks, hey, Venom. Ven hey, Venom, really quick. It was good seeing you, man. You haven't dropped on my show in a long time, so it was really good seeing you. Thank you. I appreciate your time. You too, yeah, brother. most definitely. Most right. definitely. See you. Go dogs. Go dogs. Take care. Say hi to Warden. Man. Still got it. I know I said this 20 minutes earlier. Still got an hour and a half to go. Two people need to go check their IG. I didn't say this on the live stream, but you guys got to go check your IG. I'm going to shut up for a minute. <laughs> I had to cover my mouth so no one knew what I was talking about.
had to roll out, y'all. Have a good night. Later, uh, Thomas. You have a good night, bro. Drive safe on those big Take care, races. Tom. I got to get Thomas up here as a guest again. Dude, yeah. He's a cool motherfucker. I do wish more people would pop in on live streams. You know? Patty. I am going to go and not do something. I think Patty sent you a message on IG. You guys didn't hear me laugh. Shut up. <sighs> Take care, Jason. That made me laugh. That made me laugh. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Trust me. It'll be fine. That made me laugh, though. I ain't gonna lie. That made me laugh. Yo, Thomas, you have a good night, brother. Uh, much love, much respect. I want to show Thomas's stickers real quick. Um, let's see. There's one right there. Bam. I have more, but I didn't hang them on this one. Up, oh, there's one on top. Bam. There's one more. And I'm not seeing it, but I know I kept it somewhere. So, yeah. Nice, Patty. Nice. Trust. Yeah, she's telling you to shut up, Brad. Quit saying shit. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm looking at her pictures on IG. Right on, right on. You're looking at the wiener dog? Yeah, and I'm looking, and then right below that, Darian's trying to get his ass bit. I have some runs or uh, rounds right now. If you all want to hit me up on IG, Tom, Tom is all hit you up, dude. One second. Oh, that's what I was going to say before. When uh, I put up some content of me working out like uh, Chris Escamilla from Flexing and Finessing, I can at least press a 12-pack of uh, Diet Dews.
Patty. About time you let the dogs drive and you get out and pump the gas. I thought that was really nice of you, Patty. God, how many people we got left in here? Three? It says 10. Of course she's cute. You aren't one of those backseat drivers, are you, Patty? Constantly getting on Daisy. Speed up. Slow down. You're going to hit that guy. And Daisy's sitting over there. Just shut up, Ma. Take care, Chris. Heck yeah, Shelby. How have you been? Yeah, nice, nice. Are you kind of snoozing during this time? So, Patty, tell me, what do you think about me putting on a muscle shirt, like flexing and finessing, and I could lay on the couch and press a 12-pack of Diet Dew? Might have to start out with a six pack and work that way up. But should make me crazy. I just hope Venom ain't watching when I do it. He'll think I'm single again. Say something. Kind of breaking up. What's going on, dude? There it is. One second. One second. <sighs> Shit, that'll scare the hell out of everybody. I think there's a muscle here somewhere. It's hiding. Got it? Uh, yeah. I had to okay. rehug up the Bluetooth. Whoops.
Mine ate the other night. Shitty would scarf that damn mouse down in a heartbeat. Okay, Benji gets 50 bucks for that, Venom. So, and since I'm kind of new at that and not sure which one to show, I'd go for I'd go for a 20. <laughs> what was the last time he ate mitts? And what are you feeding them? Is it mice? Is it rats? Is it ASFs? Well, if, so here's the thing. I want everyone to know this. ASFs do not exist in the wild. They do not no. exist in the wild. No. How long has it been in there with him? Leave it overnight. Leave it overnight. Just leave it in there overnight with him. Yeah, and if he doesn't need it by tomorrow, pull it out, throw it away. Yep. But uh, don't feed him every week. No. Nope. I feed mine Whoa, when he's no. hungry. Yeah. I, I feed, feed my mine when he's hungry. I feed mine every five days that are juvenile to action. Mine goes about, I, mine goes I about every, every 10. Weeks. Adults every 14. Yeah. Might be the time of year or two he changes, uh, senses the changes in the barometric pressure and stuff. So well, well, then again, then again, then again. So my normal was constantly on mice, and then when I put her on rats, it took her about three weeks to a month to actually eat a rat. So that could be the problem too, because they do smell different. It is a different rodent. <clears throat> And I know when mine's hungry, when he's out wandering around every night, and I'll give him several days of doing that before I put one in there. And he takes it right off the tongs every time. Sometimes it might be two weeks before I feed him. No. You aren't you aren't venom because mine aren't anything like uh, Benji's. BPO, go get a lizard. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me find my keys. Yeah, he's not that hungry then, Mitzi. I'd give him another week. If he doesn't take that overnight, give him another week. Grabbing a lizard now. Where's the mel? Where is the mel? There you are. Come here, boy. No, no, no. You're not going to fight me. You're not going to fight me. I don't. Nope. 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 Oh, there yes. we go. Nice. What a solo. There you go. The green bass goes. Nice. Nice. I let up the thumb grip, so. There we go. Mitzi, my yeah. emerald tree ball. Yeah, I only more growing, one, though? Once a month on my emerald tree. And she's never, ever refused food. Green basket. Whoops. Nice. 
can't wait till he's bigger. Oh yeah. Putting him back now. Oh, the female's looking down now. She's like, where's the food? Nah, you eat tomorrow. You eat tomorrow. <laughs> How big do they get, David? Three feet. Yep. He is pretty chill, uh, cold-blooded. How about the, Yeah, three feet. He got the long tail, yeah. My first boy didn't have one, whatever it was. Shit, my Burmese was eating four big rats this week. Damn! When I had my big Burmese years ago, I used to feed her about once every two months, and I'd give her a five, six-pound rabbit. Used to hate cleaning that great big eight foot enclosure, though. I'll be right back. I heard some noise outside. That was my vape dropping, but okay. He went to go smoke some weed. <laughs> I can't wait till uh, two basketballs are big, to big, you know. Um, the female is way smaller, and she does not like to be handled. But the male, he's decent. He doesn't like to squirm too much. When you first grab him, he fights back and forth. But other than that, he's usually pretty calm. If I put him on me, though, he'll jump and he's, he's out. If you guys have it already, while well, Brad is away, please smack that like button and share the show. I'd appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and uh, all that fun shit. Yeah. I don't know where Brad went. Brad, Brad, where'd you go?
All right. Well, I guess Brad's away. It's just me. I thought he would come back with me saying his name, but it didn't happen. All right, guys. Well, I'm Ball Python Love and Exotic. Sadly for Brad, we're going to end it here, though. We've been going three hours, and uh, I got to get something to eat in my stomach, and uh, I got work in the morning, so I'll wait for Brad to join. Until the next time, I'm BPLE. You guys all have a good night. I'll wait for Brad, though, behind stage to let him know the show's over. You guys all have a good night. Peace out.